Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will discuss how to use a PCF control using the React component in model driven app to display this type of star symbols to give rating to a record. This type of controls are not available out of the box. That's why we developed this using external JavaScript framework libraries to create this PCF component, which is Power, Power Apps component framework controls and integrate inside our model driven power apps so let's start with and to understand how this has been developed and integrated here let's directly jump to the code what we have written to create a pcf app, PCF app you can create a new pcf app using command pcf init but i don't want to go the basics right now let us understand what has been done to develop this rating control first of all in the control manifest we have taken a property where the property is defined as rating field. This rating field data type is whole number because this rating will be a whole number and it is bound to a field. Bound means the data will be sent back to the Power Apps or model driven app and again come back from the Power Apps to the PCF control. So that bound means the value will be um, two way flow from PCF control to model driven app and model driven app to PCF control. Now once the property is defined, next is we have defined a rating component TSX which is a TypeScript extend, extension file which supported for React components inside our TypeScript projects. So if you don't know React, try to learn React basics then you can understand this code better way. Here we are creating a, we are importing the components of uh, all the classes of react library and creating an interface to hold the value parameter that we require that is the rating number what is the number and the on change event the event should be passed and this on change event will take the value which is our the parameter value which is the value changed value right this is the value which is passed and this is the new value which is changed so this on change event will hold the new value as a parameter. Next, we are creating a class here. We are creating a component, which is of my rating component, which is inheriting or implementing the React functional component, where we are passing the value, which is our number, our rating number. These are the parameter we are passing from this interface. Okay. And the, how we are using this value and on change? Because the iprops interface is used in this implementation right so value is our number we are passing here then on change method we are passing here on change event declaration now if you don't know interface go and learn interface these are basics of oops concept in this react component we are using this implementation of interface that's why we are passing this con this parameters value and on change that means when this my rating component will render we need to pass this two information okay that i will tell you here in the index tx how it is called if you go up you will see this is how we are calling this my rating component and we are passing these two parameters okay and the point here is in this react component we are taking these two values and using use state to store its value okay now we are using a handle on click how to handle on click when someone click the star icons when someone click the star icons that means the value should be captured right and stored in this rating value that's how we are using a constant variable a uh, function variable where we are passing this rating which is passed to this component from the main method init method and we are calling a on change method this on change method will handle the uh, change of the value and updates the internal value that is connected to the rating and what it will return the react component will return the star with five stars because here you see we have created a division control okay the division is a html right so division we have created in the style given display flex and taken five items in an array which will map to five stars so if you want to display 10 stars what do you do 
you have to add 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will create 10 stars. Okay, in case you want to change your code, you have to get this 10. Okay, use that much array items. So I need 5. So I, I taken 1 to 5 and it maps with a variable star and create a span to create this star. So this this will be repeated five times to create five stars depending on this array item length okay so in the span span means it is a html component right so it creates a span and adds this star which is a symbol if you want to change this uh, star with some um, a thumb impression or some other icon also you can use let's say i want to add another uh, another icon for example let's say i will go here and use something else like uh, thumb emoji then also i can use thumb emoji okay instead of this let me go here and copy that okay so i can copy from here you can directly click on copy now if I'll go here and paste it here, it will display the thumb icon. That means when it will render, it will display five thumbs. Okay. So depending on your field, I mean the icon you want to display, you have to put it here. Okay. These are called as emojis. So I've given star here inside span and defined some attribute for this span, how it will behave, what is the style. Okay. When you mouse over on the uh, star, uh, what cursor it will display whether it will display pointer or arrow what is the font size if you want to increase the font size you can use this right what is the color of the uh, star when you mouse over right so what will be the color if you mouse over it will display gold otherwise it will display grow okay it will display gray it will check first condition either hover value greater than star what is the star what is the star value star value means it represent through the map whether sometimes it represents one two three four five right so if the hover value or value value means the value that is past the initial value what is the initial value initial value is zero you can initialize okay so if greater than equal to star then it will display gold or it will display gray right so this is my control i have a very simple control okay but you need to understand how it works on mouse enter is a event we have written on mouse leave mouse enter mouse leave on key press okay and on click what will handle on click we are calling handle click okay that means when you click one star this will be called on this will be called handle click okay and in the handle click it will call another event called as on change okay which on change on change event is passed here right how it is passed here this is the on change event here we have passed the on change event okay and in the on change event event we are passing this informations rating value new value plus the notify changed parameter the event uh, as a parameter okay now once it is done you are calling this from your index ts here we are initializing we are using react components here react libraries and also we are using the uh, rating component that we have created the tsx then we are creating initializing the variables rating as a number initialized with zero and a variable notify output changed okay then a container okay which will hold the star icons then in the init method we are initializing the container then rating then notify out, output change the variable which is a uh, event variable then we are calling render control render control will call when the control is initialized that means the star will display with default value zero okay that means all gray then when you change anything in the control it will give the latest first it is reading the parameters rating fields initial value 
that is bound to the power ups control okay now if by default value is 4 the 4 will be passed here in the upgrade value and it will render the value using the render, render control method which is already commonly used from init method and upgrade view method then in the render control we are actually calling the react component to render on the screen by passing this variable my rating component and the two parameter value our rating rating value and on change event what will happen if the value changed okay we are assigning the new value to the rating field a rating variable and tell the platform or notify the power apps that value has changed to so notify output changed will let the power app notify that the value changed so it sends back the data to power apps for update okay so this is how we develop this component and once you upload this uh, using the commands to publish this as a solution that will render like this okay so if you click it will update the value and save it if you save and close let's say i updated a 4 so in background in rating field it will store 4 right this is the 4 here you see this is the number but when you open this it will display as a star control so there are many complex pcf controls you can develop using pcf concept okay you just need to master master the uh, typescript and react components you can use fluent ui also microsoft recommends there is fluent ui there are many other libraries that you can use in your project which supports in typescript hope it is useful uh, in case you need live training on power platform and dynamic 365 let me know we are having different batches for you you can join Thank you.